what we're going to do at this stage is that uh, we've now got the solvent exchange chemical that's uh, isolated and pregnant with the gold that we've extracted from both the gold BB that we showed you that we were digesting and from the ore, the concentrate that we extracted the gold from. And we now have those solvent exchange chemicals isolated as pregnant uh, solutions. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to introduce the reducing solutions to these to precipitate the gold back out of the solvent exchange to show you the recovery of the gold that takes place with this process. So the first thing I'm going to do is have my assistant take the, uh, uh, the, the solvent exchange chemical from the BB and um, he's going to add the reducing solution which we've preheated on the hot plate and we're going to take and mix these two together. And what you'll see is you'll see an immediate reaction where the solution will turn purple where we're nucleating the gold that's in that solution and it will uh, become purple and you'll be able to see the solution uh, reaction beginning. Once that has taken place, we'll then uh, put that onto the hot plate and allow it to ripen the gold and coarsen the gold into larger gold crystals which will uh, take place over a period of about an hour's time. Uh, when, while we're mixing the reducing solution together with the solvent exchange chemical. So we're now ready to do that and I'm going to turn the stir on here and, uh, and get the magnetic stir moving in here to mix that solution. And that way we create intimate contact between the solvent exchange chemical and the reducing solution so that the reducing solution has a chance to reduce all the gold that's present in the solvent exchange chemical. Now that we have this process beginning, we can now take the ore uh, sample that we have in the solvent exchange chemical over here, and we're going to do the same thing using a second um, reducing solution, and we're going to reduce the gold out of that as well. 